Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to the homestead. Well, guys, it's time for me to transplant these little plants here that I have grown from seeds, and they are in trays, cell tray and the tray from Haas Tools. These are, these are 162 seed starting trays, and I love them. They're so durable. I actually purchased five of them five cell trays and five trays and it's working out wonderful last night i thought i got to get these plants transplanted because these right here are already transplanted and they are the same age as these over here so there's extreme amount of difference into size so i decided what am i going to do because i ran out of these containers here i threw some away you know we throw things away and then we we need it and I decided to get some of these Solo Dixie Cups here. Now, I did not notice there's a difference in these Solo Dixie Cups. There's some that's square on the end, and then there's some that's round on the end. Now, the ones that's square on the end, they're more durable. Maybe it's because how they're made, they're more durable, and they was easier to do when I'm fixing to show you. So, what I do is I just took some of these cups here, and I take about four of them. And I'm going to be drilling holes into the bottom of them. And I drill about four of them. And you want the drill to do the work. You don't want to push too hard because they are just plastic drinking cups. And when it goes through each cup, you can feel it. This is going to give me some good drainage. My next step is going to be is I'm going to drill holes all the way around so that I have even better drainage. But what I decide to do is take not four cups, but take two out and then drill on the side. Once again, let the drill do the work. So I have four holes going all the way around, and now I'm ready for my next step. So I'm going to take my cup and take the potting soil. I'll just do it like this. Take the potting soil, put it in your cup. And then you're going to mash it down just a little bit. Then you can take your finger and make a valley. I'm going to take this knife here, and I'm just going to make a valley. Then I'm going to take the same knife and I'm going to gently scoop my plant up. These are summer picks, tomatoes from Haas Tools, and I got 18 of them. So I'm looking forward for these tomatoes to be growing this spring. Then I'm going to put it in my valley and take a little bit more potting soil. I'm going to gently mash around it. And there it is. Now with these trays, when I water them, I don't have to worry about it going everywhere, the water going everywhere. And when I want to take them outside to introduce them to the sun, which I have already been starting to do that with these into the cell trays, because you don't want to just put them out there because the sun will burn them. These plants have been up on a grow light. I have introduced them a little bit, but if you do not watch your plants, the sun will burn them. Okay, guys, if you learned anything from this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll know when I'm loading up the next video. And remember, guys, make it a great day. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful.